GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9.2.1. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the snow planet. Now, hmm. Um... This is the same base, and it, yeah, you can see there's Promethe Promethium sticking out the roof, I know, because this is a Promethium deposit that we put our base in. Uh, now, unfortunately, I had to restart. It might not look like I did, and I'm going to show you the map here, and this is the same base, same planet with... Oh, Let's, um, yeah, not, <laughs> let's not die of suffocation for no reason. Okay. Um, as you can see, I, this is the same base too. I've just dug it out a little bit more. It's on the same planet in the exact same spot on the same Prometheum node. Now, the reason why I had to restart was because the previous build wasn't spawning all the POO. POIs correctly. It was leaving a whole bunch unspawned. So it was borked. So the previous save was borked. I had to redo it. I rebuilt the scenario. I've republished it. Anyone that's done there that was playing along, I'm really sorry. You're not going to have all the POIs. You can either restart. Um, and that's what I did. But before I restarted, I decided I wanted to keep it the way it was where I was and where I built my base. I didn't want to do a restart again. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't want to do a, uh, videos of me restarting. I just got myself here. Let's go inside before I freeze. That section's not sealed. Um, but I didn't want to do another series of videos of me restarting. So I did the same seed, same deposit, everything I, I raced over here once I was able to once I got my motorcycle up I actually had a little bit easier time this time because I was able to get the oxygen going just a smidgen quicker I did not do it under water I I did it in the um, um, the biome that I created for for the crash site but it kind of spread out all over the planet so I had to call it something else which was good because it needed the planet didn't have enough starting resources in the way of of trees and and like like pickable plants other than seaweed inside inside the lakes so the tree the lack of trees on some of the seeds was like oh crap there's like no trees what the hell so I had to create, I had to force this biome onto the starting snow plant, and I call, I call it the, the cold growth biome. So everything's kind of alive inside of it, but it's still frosted over, but you can, but there's plants, so you can pick stuff. And that's what the crash site biome used to be, but now it's everywhere on the planet, and it's called the, the cold growth um, and POIs can spawn it and it's stuff. So also spiders spawn in it at night. So it's not, it's not, um, it's not free of enemies spawning in it. Also drones can spawn in it if they're guarding, uh, something else that a POI that spawned in it. So be aware of that. Okay. So today last episode we spawned in the hv uh you can see that we're at the explore alien signal and it's like right beside us what the hell yeah because like i was saying a ton of stuff did not spawn in correctly i also moved the start zone here let's go up here it's okay we've got a sealed in area up here i'll show you and oh it's dark as hell isn't it let's turn that on we've got some lights we can put in so this is sealed up here i just don't have o2 up here yet uh, i made a little garage now i can show you guys the garage but i think right now what we can do is 
Let's just grab some food because we're going to do this explore the building right beside us. <laughs> uh, food, right? Derp, derp. Let's eat that and eat that again. Pick some with us. Got O2, okay. Uh, we don't need to be connected to anything in the base anymore we've got all of our weapons and stuff i guess i don't need the oh yeah no i'll keep the motorbike with me why would i say i don't need to keep the motorbike anymore uh anyway so what i also did other than working up to the point where i could spawn this base in um and spawn in the the quick and dirty build hv from from our previous save but I used this to go around and I mined out, I didn't mine out, but I, I filled up this thing and filling up all the cargo deposits and my own inventory uh, was about, here, let's, let's get some lights in here, right? This is ridiculous while I'm gabbing here. I've got some made. Um, yeah, we can some lights and I also want to put some on the HV okay um, so I went around and my filled up the cargo boxes and my inventory as much as I could and I did that three times so after I had spawned the base in uh, the base didn't didn't take much to tell you the truth and same with the HV it didn't take much to spawn in it wasn't that hard to get the mats for that the challenge was getting the oxygen up right away. And it that wasn't as hard as last time. I had it all all the same settings. I was going to record it and do this, you know, a fresh start again because of my derp when I made the scenario. But I'm like, you know what? I don't I don't think they want us, want me to just keep restarting and restarting and restarting. And I didn't want to keep showing that. So let's just do this. The way I've done it now, I've, I'm I'm at the point where I'm at pretty much at the, the same spot where I was before. But remember, last time I said um, we're going to take the HV out. Well, I did. I did last time. I took it out and I ran around. I leveled up and um, let's just get this in. Should I? Oh, you know what? That was a stupid one. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Eh, fine. Whatever. I was going to do the more flat one, but that's fine. This is a high enough ceiling. Anyway, I took the HV around. I mined as much as I could fill up each time. And I could actually put about, with the two cargo boxes, the, the ammo box, and the um, or wood box and my inventory between that I could hold close to 500 ore so that's what I did I, I filled up on the ore I came back dumped it off went back mined a different node filled up on the ore came back dumped it off and hence now I have I have uh, and I turned that all into ingots and blah 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 and then and so on and so on and so now we have a whole bunch of mats at our disposal. Uh, so I kind of fast forwarded a bit too. And my level, I am at ninth level. I haven't died, so that's good. And again, the hail was, um, I, I actually got this spawned in before the end of the second day and that was the big difference because the hail started soon after the second day I haven't come I haven't had hail since and only held once but I I had this base up and running I had the base I didn't have the HV up and running yet I did the base first because I had the motorbike and I I I knew I, I had very limited time it was kind of a race against time I just spawned this in and then I started digging it out. I had enough fuel. Um, I got down into the entryway, basically, 
digging it out and uh, by just digging it out I popped a couple of pop rocks of Prometheum and had the fuel necessary to fuel it up in time to um, seal it up before the hail could kill me. It didn't even damage me actually. I was, I was, I had a few minutes really of real time before, before the hail even started. So, and then it takes a bit before you actually, before it actually starts damaging you. So, meh. Anyway, today, what we're going to do is, well, let's fix that. Crank that up, crank that up. Do a gray. There. Okay, more light in here. That's good. Now, let's not bother being connected to the, we don't need to be connected to that anymore. Uh, but what we do need, we've got some food, we've got O2, we've got our weapons, we've got ammo, but what we need is a little bit of fuel. We've got a whole bunch made, I don't need that much. And you can hear the water generators really close to us too, there's water right beside us. Um, item not accepted, what do you mean? Oh, is it still, it, see, it does this weird, stupid thing that when you disconnect, it still leaves it thinking that you're connected or something. I don't know what the heck that is. It's just weird. It's a bug. You got to click it again. And then, <laughs> and then you can play stuff. It's like, what, what, what? Anyway, um, 10, and we'll grab some more. We won't use much. We're just going to do a quick explore. And then the plan is, is we're going to multi-tool this down, uh, throw it into the factory for the next little HV that we're going to bring in so that we can go continue on and check out the planet more. Because right now I'm going to show you the map. We haven't really explored much, but you can see there are way more POIs, including right beside us. So you'll recognize... You'll recognize this area here. Um, the problem with over here, so so I crash landed here and I came down sort of at a trajectory there and I could see, oh crap, two CVs. These are actually CV wreckages, not not just standard wreckage like, like this. This is a regular, this is the uh, starting wreckage wreckage. These are actually have like CV thrusters. Uh, so I could see that and I turned around immediately. I'm glad I did because I saw a little red dot in my radar and, but I just aimed the, the escape pod land crashed down to here. And I just ran, I booked her towards what looked like a bunch of trees over here. And I totally fluked out because that's where the wreckage was too. And, and I was fine. They didn't actually come after me. So I know that there's drones protecting these so i got to be careful uh i was lucky enough so i i pretty much just stayed in this area um i didn't actually collect the stuff out of the wreckage because i wanted to do that with you guys because that wasn't available on our last start because it didn't spawn in and so yeah, we didn't get all the ore that's supposed to spawn in around it. We didn't get the unknown structure that's supposed to spawn near the, the start. Uh, we didn't get a whole bunch of POIs. There was POIs that were incorrectly factioned. So remember we whipped past on our bike, we whipped past some uh, Xerax that were like surrounding a Polaris. Uh, well, yeah, that was, that was actually a typo on on um, Elon Studios part because that's that's a typo in the game right now on the snow planet currently in this build so you can go into your play fields your generic play fields look at the snow planet and we'll we'll get this in a second here there we go um, look at the snow planet and you will see there's a POI way down on the static YAML, the, uh, play field 
underscore static. Um, if you look down, there's a POI that is a, a Rados Auxiliary T2, and its faction is marked as Polaris. <laughs> so I discovered that. I've reported it as a bug. They'll probably. I'm I'm sure they'll. That's an easy typo to, to fix, so that'll probably get implemented in the next patch. But in the meantime, you can go into your generic snow folder and fix that. So that when you do a random solar set solar random solar system generated default scenarios, uh, you'll get the proper faction for those POIs on the snow planets. You don't have to worry about doing that. With the with the scenario that I made, I already fixed it and pushed it out to the scenario. So if you run the generic brand Galaxy scenario, it's already implemented and the faction is corrected. Okay, so let's check this out. I know for a fact these things now spawn these freaking nightmares. So, and you know what we should have done? We should have, let's go make a core. Let's go make a core. Let's go make a core. Because I want to, I want to collect the fuel and stuff out of it after we smash the core. I heard a, I heard a golem around here somewhere too. Anyway, there's the water right now, right there, and the the generators are right there. I want to make a little tunnel to it, a little sealed tunnel with a little sealed room that's uh, that you can get the generator, the water from without sacrificing yourself to hell <laughs> okay so let's just jump out really quick and we'll make some I want to make a few so let's make a few make a few cores get some cores going okay so once that finishes one, we'll take it and we'll go uh, rob the unknown structure, hopefully. I'm not sure if they've changed the loot containers inside. They used to be like the ultra rare ones and you, like everything inside of it was too heavy to pick up. So, And also too high a level to actually make any sort of use of. <laughs> I was like, uh... Why did you send me to this stupid thing? I barely have a motorcycle. <laughs> it's like, it was, it's just kind of weird. I, I think they need to change those loot containers to the generic white ones, like the, like the, the starting loot container, the alien ones, like the good loot containers, the awesome ones with tons of stuff in them. But, but starting basic like ores and ingots and stuff like that. We don't need a goddamn extra large CV thruster when we're fifth level on a motorcycle. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so they need to change that. It's stupid. It's, yeah, yeah. I know they've modified some of them so they don't have as many loot boxes, but they didn't change, they didn't dummy it down to make them, um, anyway, that's my rant. That's my rant. Let's, I'm done my rant. We'll grab this. We're just going to grab one for now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know what we should do? Since I was ranting there, I can go into here and use oxygen from the base. Put some more in here. Okay. Okay, let's go check it out. So, it's too cold for us, but it's not super, super duper cold. Um, but we will have to... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Yeah, see if they've spawned. So, jump out. And then back off. And yeah, 
I was hoping I could do this. Come on. Die, 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 die. Wow, these things have tons of hit points. Okay, that one's dead. Wow, these things have more than golems. Okay, I don't care about their bits. I don't care about their bits. I want to get inside here and smash the core before they respawn. Come on, let me out, let me out. Frickin' recoil. <laughs> Here, let's just get really close then. There we go. Nice. Okay, so it looks like it only comes with one. What has it got? One. Yeah, see? Come on. What? What are we going to do with this stuff right now? Ridiculous. I'm not even going to pick it up. What's the point? <sighs> yeah, I just... I'm not understanding why, why they send a starting... Like on the tutorial. Ho, ho, ho! It's like... It's like... <laughs> it's like the freaking trolling new players doing that sort of stuff. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. I think they should just have usable loot. Okay, well, that was lame. I'm going to multi-tool this thing down. And uh, let's actually, let's take a look to see what kind of blocks it actually it does have. So, hardened steel. Nice! Oh, hey, we might get enough from this alone. To get the tenth level, ooh! To get the mole hole in, the whole mole, I should say, the mole hole. Uh, the whole mole. My thirty-two thousand storage unit whole mole. I could probably do with just multi-tooling this down. And look at all these other things over here. So, okay, let's let's put our own core in. Let's put our own core in. Um, let's put it here. That's fine. And you can see all those other structures near us. So this is mine, and it's warming up. Oh, right. Nice. It's sealed. <laughs> well, isn't that handy? Um, not that I really care, Let's just take the fuel. We don't. We don't really need to. Uh, can I? Can I get both of these with Wi-Fi? Can I get both Wi-Fi going on? Yeah, right there. Okay. So let's do the. Let's dump those into there for now, and then. Can we just? Oh no. Okay. So that's fine. We'll just dump everything in the stern. Unknown structure. Yeah, we can't grab any. I don't want to grab any of that anyway. What I want. Oh, right. No, we got to go like this. We got to go claptrap this side, stern, and then we go unknown structure, fuel. There we go. Dump it over to there. Okay. So we can multi tool that. I'm going to multi tool that off camera. That's. Well, hmm. Although it would add, it would add a lot to the. Let's let's go get the other course. Let's go get the other course. Or wait, did I bring them all with me? No, I didn't. Okay, let's go get the other ones. I should reach it any second here. Okay. And that goes right here. Okay. Just, uh, where do we want to put, oops, where do we want to put that, we want to put that, I can just carry those, right? Yeah, they're not very heavy anymore. So that's the other thing too, is they reduce the, the weights and volumes for tons of stuff in the game. 
So it's it's totally more functional now. Like I was saying, I mean, I with with a couple with like four cargo. Oh, let's we're gonna have to kill this guy. He's a stray. Oh, a couple of them there. Okay. Worth massive XP. You can see why I'm almost ninth level. As soon as I spawned this thing in, it was like, it was like, I wailed out there, got a bunch of ore, and and had killing golems, and it was I was leveling up too fast. I had to actually stop. So, so that I wouldn't get way too far ahead of the last video. I think I caught it in time. I think I caught my my eagerness in time. Okay, so let's. I, I I'm gonna throw cores in these and just to just so that we can Wi-Fi into them and see what what they got. Um, and maybe even go into the control panel and see if they got any like stuff that we can. That if if it's even worth doing, right? So. there and I can just you know what here, let's oh yeah see there's there's stuff in here okay good well this is cool put that there yeah this is a lot of material for me to to take lots of plates steel plates lots of steel plates Okay, and does it have anything? No. No cargo boxes, no alien containers, but I did see, now that we got a core on it, we should be able to go in and it's set to private, okay. But what I did see was, no? Well, it doesn't show them anymore, okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. These these type of things don't show up in the control panel anymore. Well, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're just going to pop this off then. We'll take the whole thing. And we can loot whatever's in it. Ah, oh, boost. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's take that with us too. And is that cut? No, that's just concrete. Okay, so lots of concrete. So basically, this whole thing is made out of concrete for the most part. Yeah, it looks like it's steel, but it's not. Oh, we got some windows. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to multi-tool this thing down. Um. Now is this part of the same? No, it's not. Oh yes, it is. Okay, well, is there another, is there more things here? It's going to, I'm going to lose my drone any second here. Can't tell, I can't quite, oh, there's deco over there. Windows. I'm going to lose my drone any second. I can't see if it's got a, no, okay. I don't think it did. Okay, I don't think there's anything else there for us. This engine compartment, though, look at that. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's got a bunch of stuff. I think this is one of these uh, ready-to-take-over pre-made bases, right? It's a, it's sealed, and you can and you can like take it over as a base right away. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, it's got it's got a Wi-Fi signal, so it's got a player core. So if we just go in, and uh, we'd have to jump out to do that, right? So if we just went like this and went into it, see, it's got a personal cargo box and everything. We can turn this to private. It's got battery power. Huh, that's cool. So that means it's got capacitor we can take. It's got the solar generator up on the top. 
it's not a bad idea to get some solar power going. I don't think it's going to have anything else worthwhile in it. Uh, it might have some grow plots, so it might have some grow plots. We'll have to see there's the solar capacitor. You know what? Let's let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. What the hell, eh? Now, I'm not going to power it up because there's no point. Yep, a couple grow plots right there. Wonder if we can get into that. Nope. Let's see if we can pop it. If there's anything in it. Nope. We'll take you two. These are actually good for resources. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna take it. They're steel growing plots, I'll take them. Uh, deco. Nope. Can't carry it. Okay, so can we we can't reach the what is it? It was just the furnishings. Eh. Meh. Whatever. That's fine. Okay. Get stuff into the bow. Yeah, that's gonna spoil before we do anything with it. I don't care. Use some more spoiled food anyway. Got a bunch of grow plots to make. Okay, so not really that interesting. Let's go check this out. Doesn't look like there's anything to this. Yeah. The windows. Oh, it's got another capacitor and a... Huh. So does it have a core? No, I don't think it does. Oh, that's interesting. So we could put a core in and take that stuff. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. So, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll put our own core in. Put a core in here somewhere. That's good enough. And oh, the light came on. <laughs> I guess it had enough charge. Well, the, ooh, these are some valuable windows, shutters. So I'm gonna take the real juicy bits right now. Oh, do you see what I see? This is. Wow, this is a force field generator. Two of them? Okay. Well, what? Wait. There's another one on the front here? And another one there? What is with all the force field generators on this ruins? <laughs> what a find. I did not know. Okay, well. You saw it here, folks. Oh, wait. I don't want that to get destroyed. Let's. Come on. Grab the force field generator, not the window. No. Come on. Where's the force field generator? Force field generator. Oh, add it. Add it. There we go. I'll take the windows too. Absolutely take the windows. Wow, those force field generators, force field emitters, uh, that's kind of cool. I did not know that there was like four of them on this. That's, that's a pretty good score for, I mean, that's the loot. That's the loot of this place. And you know what? Something like that is actually usable at low level because you can't make them and you can use them for construction right away because they're kind of cool. Oh, I uh, look at this. This is another one here. I see. Oh, my God. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. Two of them. Holy crap. Uh, wow. Okay. 
Okay. Take you too. Now let's. What's my weight like? We're doing okay. And 326, okay. Okay. Wow. Force field generators. Well, remember that, folks. The next time you see one of these, uh, whatever the heck it's called, um, one of these ancient shelters, it has a whole whack of force field generators on it. They're kind of hidden because the, the base has no core. So until you core it up, you, you can't, I didn't even know they were there, right? So that was awesome. So so it's actually a sealed base, even though that it doesn't look like it is because of those force field generators. Very cool, very cool. I'm glad I found that. So, yeah, this will all go into the, uh, here, you know what? We can start that because, what are we? We're almost 10th level, so we can get the 10th level real quick. We're going to bypass the HV that I was talking about, and we're going to go straight to the uh, 10th level one, to my, um, my whole mole 32K SU. So we're going to send that to the factory uh, 160 Sathium. I think we can pull that off. So, like this, and like this. See, that had Sathium in it. I could throw all these in, because, I mean, why not? You know what? Who cares? Let's do it. Wow, it's actually had Sathium in it, too. Oh, right, yeah, because of all the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I'm going to keep the solar panel and the, and the capacitor, though. Okay, so this engine compartment, we're going to take some of, the, some of the goodies out of it, too. Okay, so we're going to grab the capacitor. And then we're going to grab... Let's get my... Grab. Oh, I cannot pick up really. Okay, so can we just go into here? And. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. I don't want to. I want to throw those, so we'll. You know what? We're going to grab this stuff. We're going to grab this stuff, and we'll put this in here. Can we put this in here too? Yeah, okay. And then we can go like this, throw this in here. Okay, and then we'll grab the, what we dropped here, where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? Did it like fall through the planet? Ah, okay, well. That sucks. Walkways have way more hit points now. Holy crap. Okay, we're going to grab these. Okay. Okay, is that all we're grabbing from here? And this. Okay. Now, do we see a container anywhere? No, it just... So we couldn't pick it up and it just kind of completely disappeared? Or maybe, did we actually successfully grab it? No, because we were putting stuff on us. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, I've got a bunch of lights and that we'll just... Hopefully it reduces the time enough. Can we put this in here? No. What about if we know? What about if we go like this? No. What if we go like this? Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow, 250 perfectly. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, and then so we'll do stern, and then we'll, you know what? We'll grab this stuff because it can just go in here right off the bat. It all contributes. Excellent, and it's reducing the amount of time it'll take to spawn. Okay, so this unknown structure, I am pretty much going to take right down to the bone. So this will take a while. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to multi-tool this thing down off camera and continue to put it all into the factory. Then we will go, I will go... Um, grind to 10th level really easy just on a couple of critters um, and then I'll cook up the whole mole and have that ready to spawn in for the end of the episode so we'll uh, we'll get all that going and I'll see you at the end of the episode when we spawn it okay it is ready to go so let's spawn it in and we'll call it an episode so I uh, did a little bit of work on the base too I've got a garden ready to plant so once we spawn this in next episode we're gonna go out exploring uh, we're gonna go to loot the wreckage so that we can get the uh, spuds from it or the uh, sprouts I should say okay so let's spawn this and oh what the heck no that why is okay it's just being weird can we not move this can I <laughs> what is it doing oh there we go oh my god that was just weird okay <laughs> no. let's spawn this in there we go we've got the whole mole it is a level 10 HV that is one single large, um, it's ore and, well, what is it, the ore and wood is, ma mainly the hull is made out of the ore and wood. That's where the uh, 32,000 SU is. And then there, it, it has other cargo too. And we can put some just regular 64 slot cargo boxes in it too. Um, and it's got an ammo box. So yeah, next episode, we're going to take this thing out. We're gonna, we can mine. It's got four turrets, which retract when mining or whenever. You don't have to, but it's better to retract them while mining. That way you don't get stuck anywhere. It is an awesome mining machine too. Uh, it's got all the amenities inside, so this is going to be great. I will have to modify this though, so I'm going to, I got to pop these out, move this forward because of the new, uh, cockpit regulations of having three full blocks. Oh, and we're starving to death. Woohoo. Let's just, <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're okay. We're okay. Except we're suffocating inside here. <laughs> okay, well, we're getting... See, we got to get this garden going. We're down to our meat, and I'd rather... Uh, I'd rather turn that into, like, hamburgers or something, right? Okay, well, I'm going to call the episode here. Um, next episode, we take this thing out mining, exploring, uh, killing. Yeah. Looting, we could probably grab whatever was at the, what was it, the, the CV warp tank and stuff like, or warp drive. We'll be able to pick that stuff up now. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, we'll also see if this thing is completely nerfed since 9.2. We'll see. Hopefully not. Uh, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.